Within a given model lineup, plotting each trim level's price against the return for that investment typically yields a rising curve. Spend more money, get the better version of a car. But if you run this cost-benefit study on the Lexus NX family, we're not so sure the graph follows so rosy an arc. The hierarchy starts out with the base front-wheel drive NX 200T. It comes with a turbocharged four-cylinder engine, standout styling, it's not boring, and Lexus-like interior trappings. Add all-wheel drive to the mix for all-weather traction, some packages here and there to really flesh it out, and each upgrade nets the NX a benefit commensurate with the increase in price. Even stepping up to the front-wheel drive NX 300H hybrid keeps the NX's plot on track gaining the buyer significantly improved fuel economy at the expense of some performance, a fair trade-off for a hybrid. Which brings us to the all-wheel drive NX 300H, which sits atop the NX heap in price and price alone. How can the priciest NX not be the best? Simple, adding all-wheel drive to the NX 300H's recipe hurts both performance, this is the slowest NX model we've tested, and fuel economy. In the all-wheel drive NX 300H, the front wheels are powered by the same 2.5-liter gasoline four-cylinder engine and electric motor, generator used in the front drive NX 300H, the two power sources feed into a planetary gear set that, in conjunction with a second motor, generator, operates as a continuously variable automatic transmission. All-wheel drive is added by way of a 67-horsepower electric motor added to the rear axle. It's called into action as conditions dictate, yet for most of the time the extra motor is dead weight. We never felt it do anything to assist with traction, and it doesn't even factor into the NX 300H's total output of 194 horsepower, a figure shared with the front drive model. The less expensive NX 200T turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine, for reference, makes 235 horsepower. Adding 167 pounds of weight but no more power over the NX 300H we tested last year, the all-wheel drive example lags in acceleration. We recorded an 8.8-second run to 60 miles per hour compared with 8.3 seconds in the front drive NX 300H, a gap that more or less holds through the quarter mile and beyond. An all-wheel drive NX 200T we tested hit 60 miles per hour in a relatively blistering 6.9 seconds. There is such a dearth of power at pretty much every speed that drivers will spend more time contemplating how to abort passing attempts than they will spend actually making such overtaking maneuvers. Meanwhile, subtle transitions from gasoline power to electric and any blending of the two in between, can be felt through the pedal either as rumbly surges, meaning the gas engine is working, or dead zones where throttle response goes even flatter than normal, when the computer prioritizes mostly electric-powered travel. That's in the normal drive mode, too, eco mode flatlines the powertrain responses so much that the NX gradually loses speed, even with constant throttle input. The sport setting generates slightly more low end urgency but ultimately fails to transform the crossover's behavior. Rob Stone, two damn phones, Babylon's came.